Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a video. Um, anyways, as you can see, joining me today, I have finally finished um, the doll for the lupus silent auction. It took me a lot longer than I had planned. Um, like I said, I did the painting at my mom's where there was better lighting and so I did all the painting within about a day and a bit um, but the hair um, I tried a new method of putting the hair in um, and it was very tedious <laughs> it took uh, a lot longer than the old way of rooting um, but I think the outcome is a lot better um, the roots are a lot more fine um, and uh, so yeah I mean it turned out a lot better um, and of course with me working um, I didn't exactly have a lot of time to uh, root so I mean I think I started uh, I did rooting all last week and a little bit of the week before that but I really dug into it last week um, and I must I did about an hour a day and then Friday and Friday night I I started at about 10 o'clock and rooted until 3 in the morning and I still wasn't done um, and then uh, Saturday I started again at like 10 in the morning and finally finished at I think it was about 3 or 3.30 and then I <clears throat> came the cutting and gluing and styling um, but she's done and I've named her Bella I don't know why but the name just came to me when I was putting her all together um, she was originally called Riley that's the name, the name of the kit but I named her Bella and I just want to show you that I made a lupus awareness bracelet for her to wear and I've dressed her in a, a lavender dress and put lavender pigtails in there so it's all lupus colors um, and she's got little socks little lacy socks and let's get her a little close up here here she is with her little pigtails <laughs> so she's finally done and um, I have a little basket for her with some things to go along with it and once I get that all put together I'll show you how she'll be displayed and I'll be dropping her off this weekend I think so also my my friend Amy and I have been looking into some doll shows um, and uh, we were hoping to go to one in London, Ontario in October. I had emailed about it and they said that there was five tables left and that they were $55 each, which I thought was pretty good. So we were hoping to take two tables. I emailed her back the same night I heard from her and said, yes, we want two tables. Please send a contract. Here's my mailing address. Or you can fax it to Amy's number. And about a week went by and I hadn't heard anything, so I emailed her a couple days ago and she wrote back saying now that there's no tables left. So I was a little ticked off about that. Um, but we'll see. Maybe something will become available. She said that sometimes there's cancellations. So. Um, but we are doing a craft show in November, so hopefully I can sell some dolls and I'm going to have to work my butt off from now until then to make sure that I have about three dolls at least to bring. Uh, last, this past Saturday, um, I got to go out and have some fun. I went to a Backstreet Boy concert and I had a blast even though I was sitting by myself. <laughs> um, I'm pretty much used to going to concerts by myself at this point in time. Um, but yeah, it was a really fun night. Um, the weather was perfect 
and I have been a Backstreet Boy fan for 13 years now. I started liking them when I was 15 and I'm 28, <laughs> going on 29. So I don't think uh, I will ever stop being a fan. And um, a couple years back I actually got to meet one of them, Brian, finally. I gave him a hug, got his autograph, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, um, they're great guys. They're humorous, they're funny, their music's great, their vocals are amazing, um, and uh, they're not too shabby to look at either. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I had, a, I had a really fun time. Um, it was nice to have some normalcy for once. <laughs> um, so that was fun, and I guess as you can tell, I really went nuts with video because I posted tons of videos from the concert. Um, and yeah, it was lots of fun. Um, although by the time I left there, my body was paying for it a little bit. Um, I was really itching my skin, not just on my face, but my legs and everything. I was really itchy and I could feel the rash coming on, but it was worth it. <laughs> so last Friday I went to the kidney specialist and pretty good news. Uh, all of my um, blood work came back pretty much normal now. My kidney functions normal. No more protein in my urine and my liver enzymes are back to normal um, and so the kidney specialist said that it looks like I'm going into remission um, which is great I'm happy about that however I don't feel like I am going into remission because I am in a ton of pain today um, now, when I saw her on Friday, she wanted me to come down on the prednisone more. So I was originally put on 20 milligrams of prednisone back in March, and so now they have me down to 10. Um, I've slowly been weaned down to that, but now I'm at, sorry, uh, my eyes are really dry and itchy today. Um, so now I'm down to 10. And, you know, prior to that, I found every time I went down a half a pill, <laughs> that for like the first couple of days to maybe the first week, I would have a little bit of pain or swelling in my fingers um, and maybe my knees, but that it, it didn't last long and it wasn't really that bad, but I'm finding it really bad this time. Um, I had trouble sleeping last night. I couldn't get comfortable. My, um, let's see, my wrists and my fingers. My fingers are swollen down here. I can't even get my wedding rings off right now. Um, this finger is swollen and I can't fully bend it down. Um, and it just, it won't even really straighten either. It kind of goes on an angle. Um, and when I try to straighten it or bend it, it goes white because it's so tight in there. Um, yeah, so that's not fun. And um, my wrists are really bothering me. Um, my elbows a little bit. But right now what's really, really bad is my feet. And it's, it's kind of the, the toes and the ankles, but it's really the bottom of the feet. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like I'm walking on a ball or something. It's just painful. And um, I don't know. Uh, just a while ago when I went to get up from checking my email, um, to go to the bathroom and blow dry my hair, I was shuffling. And I haven't shuffled 
like that since I was put on prednisone. 